Hey guys, this is Daniel from APA and today we're going to talk about lightweight guns and big recoil. If you're like me, you want it all. You want a lightweight, compact, trekkable, packable rifle, but at the same time, you want something that if you shoot the bovine creature in the foot, it's going to do a backflip and turn into premium cuts right there on the forest floor. So the problem with this is, as you know, the recoil is tremendous, making it hard to shoot and hard to spot impact. So we're gonna see if we can't solve that problem for you today. Let's go. Today we have a Weatherby Vanguard chambered in 300 Win Mag. Again, super light rifle and a pretty hard hitting cartridge. The combination of the two is gonna lead to a very difficult gun to shoot. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can do about this problem by applying the American Precision Arms answer muzzle brake. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to fix the paint job, but the brake will help the recoil, I think. We'll see. All right, we got a Weatherby Vanguard 300 Win Mag. Fairly light rifle. Um, it's probably gonna kick quite a bit with 200 grain ELDX 300 Win Precision Hunter from Hornady. So let's see what it does. Took a nose dive there and a backflip. That's dirty. Well, let's put the answer self-timing muzzle brake on it. And see what we get out of it. Well, that one lined right up. Alright, this is kind of coming loose. There's nothing. That's a lot better. Okay guys, well there you have it. We have lightweight rifles and big kicking cartridges. It's not the fact that it's a Tika or a Weatherby or a Browning, a Winchester or Savage. The point is, is we have lightweight, small contour barrels with hard hitting cartridges, which creates a, a, a problem. You shoot a box of ammo and you feel like you've been attacked by a pack of wolves and we're trying to solve that for you. What we've done is kind of condensed the Little Bastard and Fat Bastard, which have been the most popular muzzle brake and long range competition for years, have graced more podiums than anything. Most of you guys know that. But we've taken that port, shrunk it down. It's still the same port, same type of effectiveness. It's not quite as much surface area, but the point is, is it fits these barrel contours. And it's the best thing you're possibly gonna get for something like this without having a huge lollipop on the end of it. So, if you guys have a rifle you'd like to see, maybe I didn't cover your production uh, budget rifle, um, let us know and we can spin up the muzzle and send it off a table. It'd be fun. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, you guys are the reason why we're here, so we appreciate it. See ya.